This book, Agriculture, Migration and Rural Development, is co-written with Domenica Farinella and talks about the contribution of immigrants to the food production and the management of natural resources that are two basic functions of each society in the European context. We specifically address marginal territories, mostly mountainous areas, where uh, the extensive farming of, of livestock is the main source of income, employment and livelihood. And therefore, we talk about uh, immigrant shepherds that, uh, with their presence and contribution, play a relevant role in maintaining pastoral farms alive and productive. In this respect, we use agriculture as a, a sector to think and to talk about our society that is increasingly reshaped by intense migration processes. As a tropical agronomist, I've been working abroad for many years, and I was then impressed by the consistent contribution migrants play in maintaining alive and productive European countrysides. Those contributions are though poorly acknowledged, and very often migrants in rural areas live in very poor conditions and enjoy very li limited rights. So this book is basically to raise awareness in society about these aspects and try to inform more decent and consistent policy making. The contribution of immigrants in our countrysides is not only an economic one. They are not just agricultural workforce, but they are citizens and they contribute to the social life and the environmental services of our countrysides. In this respect, the European Union, that is uh, heavily engaged in financial and political terms in redressing the negative trends affecting rural areas, such as depopulation, should carefully look through the common agricultural policy in the opportunity of integrating immigrants in rural areas in order to support a more sustainable development.